Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Redmi Note 8 and I have flashed the Infinity X ROM on this mobile phone. This is the interface of the settings and if I go to about phone and if I tap to the Android version 14. So let me tell you that this is the official release of the Infinity X 1.2 is the version of the ROM. The, these are the details of the uh, maintainer and uh, the device code name is GINKGO Infinity X 1.2 what's so special about this ROM let me say something about this ROM that for the first time when I flashed this ROM I saw um, a, a lag a, a many lagging with the ROM when I was checking for the first time after flashing but later on like half an hour ago when the rom get optimized totally there was no lag believe me i was so surprised checking the rom that i was thinking that where the lag gone when i was having it i was trying to check the rom first time there was a lag but the lag is gone no more and one more thing that this rom is now working totally smoothly with the redmi note 8 and if you have a redmi note 8t you can still flash the rom now the good thing that this rom is coming uh, default device is certified many friends ask that flash the rom that come default device is certified now this is the good thing that this rom is coming default device is certified i did not root the mobile phone I did not uh, flash any magic module to make the device certified. No, this is this ROM is coming default device is certified. When the div device is certified, definitely all the banking application will be working. Yes, the banking application that I have downloaded on this ROM after flashing it, all the banking application are opening without any issue security related application will work flawlessly without any issue the fingerprint scanner is working and the face unlocking is working and the thing that surprised me is the miui ported camera is coming with the rom now many of you ask me always that sir flash the rom which have miui camera because the uh, android open source project usually provide the camera application that uh, not that much good those who have a xiaomi mobile phone we all like the miui camera and we like and we love to have aosp rom for and uh, having miui camera in that rom so this rom is providing miui camera and believe me when I check the camera, all the modes are working very perfectly. Either if it is a 48 megapixel camera, the photo capture, the video recording, and the short video, the slow motion video amazed me a lot. When I check the slow motion, I record the video. And after playing it back on the mobile phone, I saw that the result was so amazed. The rear camera and the front camera, both are working perfectly and amazingly so definitely i will say that you will love this rom after flushing it on the mobile phone that must be redmi note 8 or redmi note 8t so those who want to flash this rom those who are flashaholic they love to have a different customized rom on the mobile phone then do not wait for it just flash it and you will definitely love it now about the applications there are many applications default coming with the rom but few are having a little lag like for example the gallery application coming with the rom is having a lag then i downloaded uh, official google release application like uh, the gallery application that i'm using currently is by the google application that i have downloaded from the google play store there is no issue using the gallery application with the rom and uh, the dialer coming with the rom default is this one i like to have a google dialer i'm using it if i'm using it aosp rom or invite open source project rom then i i like to have google dialer and google messaging application so those who like to have this rom and those who don't know uh, how to flash the rom watch the further video before going ahead 
you need to unlock the bootloader of the mobile phone if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will provide a tutorial video link in my video description watch that video unlock the bootloader and then you can simply uh, follow the further steps to get this rom on the mobile phone and uh, those who have already an unlock bootloader if the phone got updated once to the latest miui 12.5 rom and if you are having any custom rom doesn't matter still you can flash the rom now before going ahead i would like and i would appreciate if you are not a subscriber yet do not forget to subscribe my channel do not forget to like the video do not forget to click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much keep sharing it watch the further video and get this rom flash on the mobile phone so here are the files that we have to download now this is the project infinity x 1.2 rom for the redmi note 8 and redmi note 80 and this rom is coming default with the google applications there is no need to separately installing the google application i would like to advise that uh, flash the project infinity x 1.2 version rom with the current recovery only the developer also informed that non-dynamic note 8 because orange fox recovery will be will be working with the if you want to flash this rom links are provided in my video description now in case if you are having any issues with the drivers then i would say that download the me flash tool 2017 version and install it on your windows so there will be no more any issue with the drivers with the windows and the mobile now after downloading the rom files and the orange fox recovery extract the orange fox recovery first and after extracting the recovery file open the extracted folder of the recovery and uh, definitely you will see many files over here so moving towards the mobile phone first of all we need to do few things before flashing the mobile uh, the flashing the rom on the mobile phone first of all check the mobile phone battery must be charged so the mobile phone can get the rom easily and then you need to save all the internal storage data because this procedure will format everything then go to settings security and, and privacy then go to device unlock and uh, turn off the screen lock by selecting the swipe if you have uh, set already uh, the screen lock deleted uh, swipe will be selected then go to password and accounts and uh, sync your google account once then remove it must remove it to avoid any issues later and in case if you are using miui rom then uh, if you are in case if you are having miui uh, account then also remove the miui account to avoid any issues later if you have done all these things then you can simply power off the mobile phone data cable is uh, requires and check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer when mobile phone gets power off properly then press and hold the volume down key and connect the cable with the mobile phone the mobile phone will boot it into fast boot mode then immediately release the volume down key when you see fast boot uh, screen on the mobile phone now on the computer screen i am already in my extracted folder of the custom recovery double click the flash one batch file the custom recovery will start flashing and it will done when the, the flashing gets completed then double click the flash two but after double clicking the flash to batch file immediately we need to press and hold the volume up key to let the mobile set to let the mobile phone boots into custom recovery double click the flash to file immediately press and hold the volume up key before redmi logo appears just wait for a few seconds the mobile phone will boot into custom recovery then immediately release the volume up key i will go back to my downloaded folder so we got the custom recovery and uh, the storage is not encrypted it is decrypted and the internet storage got appears on the computer screen now we'll go back to my downloaded folder and simply i will copy the project infinity x 1.2 rom file from the downloaded folder and then we'll go to my internet storage of the mobile phone we'll paste the file over here now on the mobile phone screen tap the last menu then tap settings then tabs display then make the time out to maximum and then go back to main screen tap the first menu just wait so finally the file 
copied on the internal storage we are done from the computer and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone then tap the third menu then select the first partition system cache vendor metadata data these are the partitions that we are going to select right and then swipe to start wiping it when done then go back to main screen the first screen select or tap the from file to select the file and then swipe to start flashing it now just wait here let the flashing complete then we will continue flashing got completed script succeeded when it is done then go back to main screen then tap the third menu and tap format data type y e s then tap here must do this tab otherwise the rom will not start boot when it is done then simply tap reboot system the mobile phone will reboot and uh, definitely it will start booting uh, the uh, infinity x rom first boot completed and i will complete the setup screen so we got the rom flash now here I would like to say that uh, leave the ROM as it is, like leave the mobile phone for uh, 15 minutes as it is, do not touch, let the ROM optimize totally and then you can use the ROM so you will see the performance and the battery life and uh, there will be no lag and already there are no bugs with the ROM. We'll go to about phone, just want to show that uh, this is the same ROM that uh, I showed earlier and uh, android version 14 and official release of the infinity x 1.2 version for the redmi note 8 log in your gmail account and uh, download start downloading the application directly or straightly from the google play store definitely you are going to like and love this rom thank you so much do not forget to like the video and keep sharing it we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye